Welcome back to coverage of the Innistrad Championship. We're heading into lower round two, Elilonia, alongside Cedric Phillips. And now, Cedric, we've given away all of our world championship spots, so we have to find a champion. And uh, Simon Gertsen is hanging out, waiting to see what happens in these lower rounds. So let's take a look at our matchup here. It is going to be Toru Saito versus Yo Akaike. JSKI Creativity and Golgari Food. What do you think about this matchup as we get into the action? Well, this is kind of a weird one to say, but we haven't really seen a ton of this yet. There's been so much Golgari Food against Is It Phoenix. Uh, mm -hmm. This is still an Is It based strategy, of course, that Yo is bringing to the battlefield. But, of course, Indomitable Creativity has worked itself into the equation, and it appears to be a key piece of what is going on. So this should be kind of interesting to see how it does unfold because it's going to be much different than what we've seen previously in the matches that uh, you and I have covered thus far. Mm -hmm. Hard to pick a winner here. I, I, I'm i very curious to see how this matchup actually kind of does go more than anything. Um, I don't feel, personally, I don't feel like I have a great feel for it. I can understand why creativity could win here, but I also understand why our uh, fantastic folks at the desk were kind of split on their decisions. So well, uh, let's I just mean, watch it, some good magic. In terms of the win percentages for the weekend, Jeskai creativity is 60% against Golgari food 40 percent obviously go the other way around so it's mm -hmm. pretty darn close but there haven't been that many matches so yeah i i wouldn't know Oof. which way to go one or the other but uh currently Oof. it's looking pretty good for Golgari with this awful Oof. awful mulligan from your akike oh boy on the plus side though we're never drawing those emissaries <laughs> that's true <laughs> <laughs> always look on the bright side of life cedric i try Da -da, I try. Da -da, da -da. Trail of Crumbs down on the battlefield first and foremost for Toru Saito. So he's going to get things going here. Would love to find a kitty cat to sack to the Phyrexian Tower in hand. On the other side of things, just got creativity in the hands of Yo Akaike getting going. Two hard evidences. So if the lands behave, we could see indomitable creativity pretty darn soon. Yeah, and I guess that's one thing. Even though it is a, a, a double mulligan there for Yo, the, the good news is... When you're playing against this Golgari food deck, they're not exactly fast out of the gate. You know, they no. do play a very long game. You're not being rushed like a Slesny Humans deck would do. So <laughs> for Jeskai Creativity, time, weirdly, is on your side given what the opponent is playing. We're going to see a Gilded Goose hit the battlefield here. Get that little engine going where Gilded Goose is able to sack food. Make that mana, and uh, Trail Crumbs is going to start digging permanence out of the library. On the other side of things, Spikefield Hazard hits the battlefield as Spikefield Cave. Just a strike ready and waiting to kill something? It's not going to have a target, though, because a lot of these creatures are powerless, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> Just a strike not at its absolute best in this matchup. Probably <laughs> reserved for killing, uh, I suppose, a large ravenous squirrel if that yeah. worked itself into the equation. Just a squirrel strike. That's what we're going to call it. <laughs> Here comes Cauldron Familiar. Another way to utilize the sacrificing of the food tokens to get Trail of Crumb triggers. Things looking pretty good here for Taru Saito as we get this lower round two match underway. So for Algari food fans, it's all about setup to get things started. You know, Trail of Crumbs is here. Yes, Witch's Oven not here just yet. Luris, of course, always an option. Uh, but, and we haven't found a ravenous squirrel yet as Toru, but still looking to just kind of get the whole uh, get the whole shop set up, the whole yeah. house of cards, if you will. Um, for Yo, weirdly, not that far from a creativity for one. Mm -hmm. And just maybe just saying, you know what, I'm, I'm good with at least having one Sarah out on the battlefield. Uh, well, through tap lands, not great, but... Not but not terrible. the end of the world. Yeah, not the end yeah. of the world. Your mana's online. St still at 19, right? So everything's okay. At least they found lands, so... Yes, absolutely. They're absolutely. going to be pretty relieved about that. I'm curious if they're considering cycling that triome. Maybe he wants to find an untapped source to creativity for two. Which would be ideal. Yeah. I mean, heck, go three. Let's, let's go for all three. You want to go max? You want to yeah, go to yeah, max, yeah. huh? Six mana, let's go. I mean, they've got time. 
Well, yeah, t- again, t- and and as you just mentioned, time very much on Yo's side right now, sitting at a healthy 19, some blockers, know what your opponent is playing, and so far as it's a, it's very much a setup deck. Mm. Now, the Meat Hook Massacre is somewhat interesting as a draw step. Um, yeah. It, it, can, it can clean out the crabs if you care to do so. Uh, it can be reserved for maybe something even larger than that. So... Yeah, that is true. That is actually one of the cleaner answers to the Sarah's mm. Emissaries. Mm-hmm. Huh. Man, this deck is awesome. I love it. <laughs> I do think the games can be played in such a way where if Toru just draws Meat Hook Massacre, can set up the game in such a way where, you know, if the Emissaries... Basically, it's like, whenever you finally do your thing, I have an answer mm-hmm. to your thing. I mean, like Massacre yep. just never cast it, right? I think that's possible. Yeah, that's, that's a very good point. Just hang on there's to a, it as an insurance policy. Yeah, yeah, and there's there's a lot of mana available for Toru right now as well. You see the Phyrexian Tower. Let's just imagine, if you will, you sacrifice the tower for... You sacrifice the cat to a tower. Okay, so that's your double black just for the Massacre alone. Then you just count the rest of the mana that you have. So... There's four mana currently on the battlefield. You add in Gilded Goose plus food, that's five. So Meat of Massacre for a bunch, not not terribly difficult, I would yeah. say. Yeah, it's certainly a lot easier to get to than a one-off answer in the deck that some of the other decks had this weekend. Mm-hmm. You know, oh, I really need Giant Killer off the top of my library right now, but I have no real way to filter through, so I guess I die. Yeah. It's kind of how we've seen these uh, matchups play out. Yeah, the, I, I was hoping at some point we would have seen Chop Down come to fruition to save <laughs> a Selesnia Humans player against nope. a Sarah Emissary, but it never happened, at least for us uh, uh, on our feature matches. Maybe some <laughs> for some players in their matches throughout this tournament. Never for you and I. Going to the end step here, Yo Akike seems interested in cycling this Rogan Trium. There's also that other clue, but uh, I don't think they'll be... Super happy losing another token on this battlefield, knowing that the likes of Meat Hook Massacre exist. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Can you find another land? There we go. Yep. Hey. Angel time? <laughs> yeah. It, it, the, 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 it's, it, it's interesting in so far as there's... I'm going to figure out the best way to say this. There's no pressure on the battlefield mm-hmm. on Toru's side, but there is pressure on the battlefield because the pressure is once I get my entire house of cards set up, what you do is more or less irrelevant, yeah. right? So it's not pressure in the traditional sense of I'm a, I'm at 19. Ah, I'm at 13. Oh, I'm at seven. <laughs> it's more so, of, okay, there's two trail crumbs. There's food tokens. There's an active goose, uh, cauldron familiar and witches ovens on the battlefield. Okay. You have four cards in your hand. All right. Pressure's coming in unique ways now. So with all that in mind, yo may be thinking to themselves, it's time yeah let's try and close this out let's get some inevitability on their side of things one thing that i don't know it it might be a bit of a saving grace i guess not really but cauldron familiar can still keep draining the life total even with those Mm -hmm. emissaries on the battlefield so Mm -hmm. it's kind of a cheeky little workaround it's like oh cool yeah i can't hit you with anything else but here's some cats so it looks like Creativity for two is going to resolve two Sarah's Emissary. Order up. Two yep. angels on the board. Let's see what Yo goes for here. Creature. Hmm. And the same thing goes for Massacre as well, I think, because it's life loss. It's not deal damage. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, this deck seems like it has a Pretty good chance against two Sarah's emissaries. As long as you're set up, yeah. You know, as as long as your house stable. of cards is get, yeah, you, you've got <laughs> you've got a decent amount of life, and you know your battlefield, uh, as far as the 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 setup is concerned. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I agree with you. Yeah, let's do some digging here for Taurus Saito. It's gonna find another trail of crumbs off the top, and can do this little sequence one more time here. Okay. A little freebie here looks like yeah let's just Mostly keep it going free. you know it, it, it could come down to cat oven let's just kill them with cats uh, wouldn't be the first time <laughs> it's it's usually kindness but we'll settle for cats in uh Toro Saito's case 
So the marsh looks like it may be the land for the turn. Because you don't need an untapped land this turn. You need it next turn. Yeah. Remember the, the Phyrexian... Seven. Yep, the Phyrexian Tower is just two mana, so... One, two, three, four, five. Goose would be six, and then the Overgrown Tomb untapped next turn, presumably for Toro, would be seven. So this is what I'm speaking towards with the whole House of Cards thing. You got mm -hmm. two Trail of Crumbs, three Witches Ovens, food generation, squirrel in the battlefield, <laughs> culture <laughs> familiar in the graveyard. Life's uh, good right now. Yeah, it, sur it sure does seem like it, doesn't it? Yeah. If you're wondering why we haven't swung the advantage bar either way right now, it's because, well, you know, Toru has an out. It has to get the mana. Yeah, it, it's it's strange to me to say that advantage Toru given being attacked for yeah, uh, 14, 14 right now. Yeah. Just casually. But we know the power of the cats in the ovens. I'm going to send it Yo's way briefly here. Yeah, just just a little bit. Oh, the scroll's going to get nice chunky. It doesn't do anything because it can't do any damage, but it can draw some extra cards. Ooh, so I like that. Oh, now that's... Oh, that's, that's smart. Okay, that's fun. <gasps> that's fun. <laughs> hey, Luris, we might need to help you. Uh, we'll get you out here for a goo. No, but then he's just... No, you're just, just you're dead just, next You're just turn. dead then. No, so, yeah. so potentially here... Mm-hmm. Uh, this this creativity that is going both ways. One of them is going to be a Sarah. The other one might need to be a goose. No way. No way. No way. <laughs> hey -o. Well, well, well. <laughs> well, well, well. Uh, Hello. Uh geese come in a gaggle no doubt oh. all right let's go let's put some cats in ovens let's get this life total down here for taurus saito <laughs> unbelievable stuff kitty cats are gonna get sacked once more and we got some more pings to do here this is three extra points of life being lost for yo akike yo yo's play very smart Yep. Blowing up that goose, <laughs> recognizing exactly <laughs> the way to cut off a massacre for seven. Uh-huh. Yep. But creativity... They knew it was coming. Yeah, creativity. There's it some upside us. and there can be some downside. Yeah, it, it taketh it away. Taketh away. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, the cat's coming back. Let's swing that advantage bar to... Yeah, I'm already... I'm, a, I, I'm on it, partner. Trust oh, me. Oh, man. Let's go, kitties. Let's go. Keep it ticking down. Right, so there's enough mana. There's the untapped land. Even more damage being dealt. And then Yo has no out. There's no way to win this then. I, I don't believe so. There's the overgrown tomb untapped. Here comes the massacre. You sacrifice. Yeah, so you're going to want to do this for seven. Yeah. And this will cause the Phyrexian Tower to sacrifice something as well. The goose will have to tap for uh, for a mana via sacrificing food. There you go. Oh my gosh, look how big the squirrel's gonna be. Uh huh. How big can we make the squirrel? I don't think it's enough with the minus seven to get the job done here, but with stuff dying and with cat triggers and all that other stuff. Yeah, it I, may I, well I think be. I think you may be underestimating the squirrel in this exact moment. Squirrel gets swole. Let's see. All right, it's five. How much damage is that? Because don't forget, back. yeah, don't forget bringing the cat back is going to yeah. grow, is going to grow the squirrel yeah, yeah, and also yeah. trigger. Just another one? Yeah, the mat, one yeah, one. I, ugh. Yeah, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Death by ravenous <laughs> squirrel here in game number one between these two lower round two competitors. Oh my gosh, that was so gross and I'm all for it. Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a game. That's a game of magic right there. I love that. That's a game way. of magic. That was that was just oh so nice. Is that an Ulamog? Oh my goodness me, that is okay. an Ulamog. Okay, 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 okay. Can get a little fun with that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. I can get behind that. I mean, sure, why not? These players having some interesting sideboarding taking place. Looks like okay, Ulamog, Valorous Stance. 
Iteration, Justice Strike, Flame Blast Bolt, Pack Negation. I guess Pack is actually pretty good protection against the uh, the Meat Hook Massacre turn that we just saw. Mm -hmm. Rest in peace, multiple copies, makes a ton of sense given Toru's deck. Uh, and so Yo is also getting away from the Mizzix's mastery portion of the deck. That also makes yeah. a lot of sense to me. Okay, other side of things. Let's see. Okay, so some number, some copies of the Meat Hook Massacre are going to go for Toru. Uh, Soul Guide Lantern, not really that kind of matchup. Not really a push matchup at all uh, because you can creativity for more than one. So push isn't really going to stop it. And you're not putting on enough pressure that you want to push just the one thing that they may sacrifice, like a hard evidence token. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Thought Seize, of course, against a control deck makes total sense. It actually looks like four, five, six, seven, nine. It actually looks like Luris is just going into the deck. Okay. Um, <laughs> some more removal spells. And then Outland Liberator. Uh, it has enough. Oh, I guess its main target is going to be Rest in Peace. So it yeah. makes sense why that would come in as well. So great start. Oh, great man. start to this match. That was such a cool game to kick things off here between these two Japanese players. Yeah. Both of them trying to keep their tournament alive. This is a do or die situation. Whoever loses here, their tournament is done. The other will continue on. So let's take a look at the opening hands here. This is a very nice start for Toru again. Both these hands look totally fine to me. Um not the you know, not the highest ceiling hand for for either player, but I think still totally fine. Trail of Crumbs hiding out there for Toru. We, we know just how important that card is. Yeah. That, that's kind of the, the, the glue that sticks all the tiny itty-bitty creatures together here. Yeah. It, it's it's an incredible magic card in this deck. It really is. Might be card... Uh, truth be told, might be card of the tournament. Well, let, let, let's Ooh. see who makes it to the finals. Uh, fair enough, fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> oh, her rest in peace. Yep, that's very, a good one. Very, very good find for Yoaki K. Gonna fire that off straight away past the turn back as a meat hook massacre is drawn for Toru Saito. Now, decisions, decisions. The trail or not a trail? That is the question. Mm -hmm. He's gonna go for it. Get that down. Get some food tokens going. The turn gets passed back. Now, for his my command, really good at dealing with a witch's oven. But won't be able to hit that trail of crumbs. It can help Yo dig deeper into their library. Try and find, uh, I don't know, you know, some double tool creativity, perhaps. Mm-hmm. Ooh, kitty cat. Yeah, that one's going to probably want to stay put in the hand for a little bit. Just because of the rest in pieces on the battlefield. Yeah. The Tori's going to want to find that Outland Liberator to deal with the rest in peace. It does have Deadly Deal Dispute and the Ghost to go dig in. Now, likely see that fired off here in response to this Prismari command. Oh, never mind. We're making treasures, drawing cards, and discarding for Yo. So okay. they really want to dig deeper into their library and find their key combo pieces. Oh, yeah. Also, while accelerating a little bit. Okay, so an additional copy of Rest in Peace has been drawn for Yo. It's a little bit redundant, so away that's going to go. Yeah. Okay. Ah, clear for takeoff to do this. Okay. Um, nom, 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 nom. Yeah. Nice. Clever using the uh, the token as the sacrifice. Gets another trail of Ooh. crumbs triggered too. Ooh, what nice. a thought seize. Hey. Never, <laughs> never unhappy to draw a thought Ooh. seize. That was real good. Here comes yeah. the hard evidence. There's a crab. There's a clue token. Just missing that indomitable creativity for Yo Akike. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Do you like your cards? Because I'm going to take your cards. Take a little look, Skipu. Knocking out a card is nice. It's the information I think that's more important. Mm. Um, Toru getting an idea of what Yo is working with and seeing what is not the strongest of hands. No. Now... But as we analyze it, Prismari Command, powerful modes, options. Yeah. Certainly a card worth considering with the thoughts. He's pack negation, not great right now, mm -mm. but could be good in the future. 
And then Justice Strike, when you do have this copy of Ravenous Squirrel, it is an answer to that. But I think that Prismari Command is probably the best of the bunch of select just because of its flexibility. Yeah, for sure. So looks like that's what Toru decided as well. I'm curious if Toru is going to fire off the second thought seize to just, you know, eliminate the Justice Strike or the Pact of Negation. Pact is live currently. There is a treasure. So if Yo decides that it's worthwhile to cast, sure can. See, that one I would be surprised about it if the if the second thought he's got fired off because I want to use that as a way to open up the turn when I'm okay. trying to set up for something else. Because right now, if I'm Toru, my thought process is your, your hand's not that strong. You're gonna you're likely going to draw a card off of the clue. Okay, yes. that's another card plus plus a draw step. Okay. And then maybe depending on what my draw step is the next turn, then I lead out with this thought sees. But right now, not that scared, and the justice strike is gonna predictably kill. Uh, this ravenous squirrel, which is clearly an exchange that Toru is okay with, because otherwise, the Thoughtseize probably would have taken the Justice mm. Strike. Goodbye, little squirrel. We hardly knew ya. There's a Rogue and Triumph for Yo. They can either run it out or cycle it to get a little bit deeper into the library. They do have the clue token that can help them do that as well. <laughs> My pact versus your stuff. Go. Uh -huh. Alright, let's dig let's dig some more, shall we? So double trail, double trigger, two mana available to go digging. Let's see if both get used here. Sure do. There's another cat. Would absolutely love to find that outland liberator to get this rest in peace off the battlefield. Yeah, it makes some sense right now as to why this cat can now be played safely. There's a recipe on the battlefield. You'd like to keep the cat around as long as you can, but when you know that your opponent only has a pack of negation, you're pretty safe to do this. Yeah. Not be worried about too much. Maybe we'll see death by one ones this time. Who knows? Now, the biggest fear is that uh, creativity comes rolling. Oh! Well, just going to go out and just cut myself off. I can't even say it. It's already here. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh, that here. is bad news. Bears, what a draw yeah. here for you, Akike. <laughs> and Tori can just smile. That's all I can do right now, is that is creativity for two. Let's get two emissaries. No Ulamog, though. He's going to be uh, gonna be relieved about that, Toru. Well, last game, we saw the unique way of getting those emissaries off the battlefield. Uh-huh. With the Meat Hook Massacre for seven. Uh-huh. Well, we're a little short of seven this time. So we, we we're getting there. If if this ghost dies, it meets its its demise somehow. Mm -hmm. That's a treasure. Yes. There's an overgrown tomb in hand. So Tor is not that far off. Phyrexian Tower would be nice to find. Mm -hmm. Um that would certainly help. Gilded Goose would be mm -hmm. nice to find. That would certainly help. But this is also what I was talking about with the pack negation working itself into the equation. Because the pack negation is the card that can stop. Yeah. The Meat Hook Massacre, which is why this other thought sees is extremely important. Now, let's see. Those Sarah Emissaries. I have to imagine it's Creature Plus. Maybe I it's would, Instant. Yeah, I would say it, I saw oh. Instant. Thought what if sees. it's Instant? What if it's Instant Sorcery? Oh, then that's a problem. Well, if it's Instant Sorcery, that means Thought Seas can't. Do it. Yeah, if it's instant yeah, sorcery, sorcery. Thoughtseas can't do its thing. Yep. Uh, Bone Shards can't do its thing. And Maelstrom Pulse can't do its thing. So there you go. Okay. <laughs> Good call there from you, Akiike. All right. Ties things up here in this lower round two. Let's take a look at the sideboarding decisions here by these players. Oh, man. These games have been really, really tense. Can't wait to see what happens in game number three. Hopefully we get a good seven cards for both players. No more mulligans, please, libraries. Let's get a great game here to round out this matchup. Yeah, what makes this creativity deck so appealing to the players that elected to play it this weekend, yo among them, is that you always have kind of that back door out. Remember the turn before the creativity. The hand for yo was a pack negation, a bunch of lands, an O3 out there. Not really doing very much in a clue token. You sacrifice a clue token, all of a sudden creativity's online. Now your deck says, hey, I win now all of a sudden. And there is a lot of appeal to just having this style of card that goes, oops, 
I win. I win. <laughs> That's the dream and magic, isn't it? Oh, hey, now, angels, what are you doing here? They're in the wrong spot. Ugh. That's not great. The rest of the hand seems fine, perfectly serviceable. Those amateurs need to get on out of here. There, oh, boy. Yep. So this is kind of the price ah, you pay. Ulamog. Yep. This is kind hey. of the price you pay when you play this type of strategy, right? As good as creativity <laughs> is and the I win nature of that card in order for creativity to be good, you have to be able to find cards. Oh the creativity gosh. has to hit cards, and sometimes you draw them. Uh, hard evidence. A clue, a crab, and a hope for Yoak. EK right now has to send two cards back. On the other side of things, how's it looking down here for Toru Saito? He's got a turn one squirrel. Needs to find a swamp. Rexian Tower can become said swamp, but needs something to chow on to start things off. It's not a bad start here. Oven, next turn, can go to trail, familiar, squirrel, all that stuff. So yeah, this is yep. this is actually a pretty darn good hand. I think I jinxed yo. It's like, hey, library, be nice. Not nice. Not nice. Well, the hand, the hand is still functional. Plenty yeah. of red sources. Hard evidence, mm -hmm. create the tokens that you, that you need for creativity. You're one creativity away from being in this game. For sure. Let's see if the top of the library behaves. It's another hard evidence. So Yo does have access to two clue tokens courtesy mm -hmm. of that sorcery, so. And, and much like much like in the first game, nice. plenty of time, not gonna mm -hmm. be underneath a lot of pressure at all, as far as life total is concerned. He has an interesting decision are we just gonna go straight up sack the squirrel get the cat going and the second oven heck yeah says Toro Saito so kitty cats online we're gonna start snacking on cats and also a trail of crumbs activation yeah okay so yeah this is trailing okay very good Got nice it. Another oven. yeah very very turn. nice turn here it's a pretty good turn more lands. Yeah, but card but car draw available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still okay. You can see the cycle here of the Trium on Torosaito's end step. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna snack on some kitty cats and get this life total whittled away. Second cat. Cool. Let's go digging trail. a little deeper. Yeah, let's let's go find some more stuff. Hey, okay, where were you in the last that's game? Yeah, I mean, that's a that's a, that's a that's a card, which is nice mm. enough. thor has got two answers to a rest in peace. Luckily for him, though, none of that happening right now. Uh huh. One more looks key. That's yeah. Creepy. Black floating. Okay, the one trail. <laughs> so awkward because like he doesn't want to reveal the meat hook massacre so i'm just gonna take the swamp yeah. totally didn't see no meat hooks mm -mm. <laughs> yeah liberator with a mana up nice this isn't bad liberator with, a Liber liberator with a mana up to be able to activate you can still sacrifice stuff to witches oven to activate trail of crumbs so this is another good use of just a ton of game actions over the course of a single turn yeah which is so what this many deck clicks is per turn. At. Yep. So make sure you don't get carpal tunnel syndrome playing this deck. Valorous stance. Interesting. Well, what's actually what, what's what's truly interesting right now is this liberator may transform. Yeah. And just start killing things by attacking. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know. <laughs> Playing that werewolf out. And it may not seem like much to kill a clue. We'll be able to target a clue token with the attack if that all yeah. goes down that way. But those that's less material on the battlefield for Yo when the creativity turn comes to fruition, which means that if that clue token's not there, that means like something like a meat hook massacre for three killing the crabs means that... Um, 
means that creativity is actually a bad draw. Yeah. If you can keep the material and the objects off the battle off of Yo's side of the battlefield. Hmm. I have the Eye Tyrant. Fun little attacker, but it's going to be the Ravenous Squirrel brought to hand here for Taurus Saito. Who is slowly but surely pulling away in this matchup. Mm -hmm. There's a Shambling Ghost. It's a pretty good draw as well. It's just more things that do stuff. I like it. Here comes the itty bitty squirrel. It gets pretty chonky pretty quickly though. As a uh, Valoristan waits for it to hit the threshold. Frenzy Trap Baker. Baker. <laughs> Trap Baker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make some nice wolf cakes. Gets rid of that uh, clue token there. So no additional card draw. But it is sacked in response and there's a spike field hazard, so... The best thing to find here for Yo at the moment. Another Gilded Goose and a Trail of Crumbs. Curious if we want to go multiples with the with the trails or not. Uh, Goose Goose does provide a lot in this situation as far as mana acceleration, additional green mana. I think uh, yeah, I, I am not surprised to see Goose be the selection. Yeah, Goose and Trail of Crumbs is just so good. And just given given that yeah, Trail is working. And everything else, I, I think you just want more mana right now. Yeah. That's the other thing, too. Second green source wouldn't be so bad, too. Forest is one. Goose sacrificing food for the other green could be okay. I'm curious if we want to flip it back to daytime. I don't think the trap breaker being on one side or the other is that much of a deal, of a big deal. Gilded Goose... It's gonna come on down. We'll see another sacrifice here. Mm -hmm. And two black mana to work with. One of them likely going to go to Trail of Crumbs. Let's take a look. Another land. Hey, mm -hmm. there you go. Mm -hmm. He's happy about that. Yeah, you can play that. Need to be untapped. Pay two life. Yep. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Just a million, a million game actions. Oh my goodness me! When this deck goes off, it goes off. There's a Prismari come on. Not the worst draw here for Yo, who needs to find something to keep them in this matchup yeah the tough thing is it's got to be a lot it's got to be a lot more powerful than that and, and i say that as a not as a slight to prismari command it's because the house of cards is more or less set up right now yeah two ovens two cats trail uh squirrel which we know yo does have mm -hmm. an answer for um but the setup here for toru is really good and that's why you saw all those games that game actions over the past couple of turns it's just he's he's online toru's online yeah. right now Spikefield Hazard, not going to kill anything. There's just way too many ways to sacrifice stuff. Mm -hmm. On Taurus side of the battlefield, Prismari Kaman can target one of the Witch's ovens. But we might just see what Yo did in uh, game number two. Targeting themselves, getting the treasure, digging deeper into the library. Yeah, draw two, draw two, discard two. Yeah. Let's see what they value here. Kill the goose. It's a difficult decision. I, I I think I think we may just see draw two, discard two, plus uh, treasure. But let's see. It's going to be yeah two. Oh, okay. Oh, liberator. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Sacrifice that to the oven. Yep. Another counter for the squirrel. Another food token for the cat. Just a strike. Great pick up yeah. there. Yeah, stri strike and stance are redundant answers to the uh, to the squirrel. So the squirrel's managed. Yeah. The spike field hazards are the worst cards. Yeah, they need to get out of here. But you're not going to win by uh, dealing one point of damage at a time. <laughs> yeah, and, and, I say that, and, no and we're doing one point of damage at a time, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> and nothing, nothing, nothing really worth hazarding on the battlefield because of the ovens, mm -hmm. right? So yeah. they're very low impact cards as their front half, and not great on their back half either at this moment. Looks like going to keep one potentially as a hedge, will you? Go? 
So as things stand, as we work our way into the late mid game, we're gonna see the life total of Yoakike dwindle even further as there's no answer for the graveyard shenanigans and this combo that's set up right now. Justice Strike will be able to take care of the squirrel and no sacrifice outlet available at the moment, so. A little loss there for Toru, but he's just gonna keep digging through, finds another Outland Liberator. <laughs> oh my another gosh, one. three cats? Yep. Uh, seven, six, five, four. Don't think it's lethal yet. It's getting extremely close. Yeah. Very, very close indeed. And the, the, the reality of the situation now, too, is because Yo's life total is so low, Mm -hmm. uh, creativity just might not. It's not going to cut it. To, to save them. Yeah. Especially because of with... all the chip damage. Yeah. No rest in peace available for Yo. So. Uh huh. That's what was keeping Tora at bay in the last game. Mm -hmm. Adam Liberator is going to hit the battlefield once again. Ready and waiting for that rest in peace. And let's just jam some cats. Cat jam. <laughs> Now, if I did that right, there'll be cats dancing in chat. Noted. We'll see. No good at What's tags. the draw step here? Ugh, that's a Sarah mm -hmm. and the Sring. Can't even cast that right now. Oof. Can Yo survive another turn, or is Toru Saito going to wrap things up right here, right now? I think it. I think it's like. I think it's time to wrap it up. Yeah. I do. Let's With all these triggers, some you cats. do get to do some attacks. They're not the most beautiful attacks through these O3s, but they are attacks nonetheless. Yep. I mean, heck, Tori can just mortality spear one of these crabs out the way. Uh-huh. Get some damage in and then clean it up with the cats. So, yeah, advantage through the roof currently for Toru Saito. Nothing that Yo Akike can do right now. As it's all just a matter of clicking through these triggers to get this game over and done with. And another, another oven. oven. Yep. <laughs> just Makes to add a little soup. salt to the wound here. Makes it super, super, super easy. It, it is worth it right now to just think, okay, what could you have? Three, mm -hmm. three cards in hand, five mana available. Hasn't really done much of anything this game. Maybe they've drawn Sarah Emissaries and Ulamog, some reactive <laughs> yeah. cards that aren't particularly Go good. But, uh, yeah, Go Goose. The goose is not getting loose. I hate to break it to you, partner. <laughs> Ow, I'm ruining our fun. Here we go, in for the swings. The one ones are gonna get it done as this Witch's Oven combo will clean up this game here for Toru Saito, Golgari food able to get the victory against Yoakike on Jeskai Creativity, and he's going to advance in this lower brackets. Yes, indeed. Golgari Food has very much flexed its muscles here this oh, yeah. weekend. Oh, yeah. Big flex. Well, little flexes, because they're they're small. <laughs> At times. Sure does feel big. <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> this deck has been unbelievable. Oh, Just unbelievable. It. Absolutely love it. Golgari food. Getting the job done here for Toru Saito. And he'll continue onwards. But consolation to Yoakike. They're still going to the World Championship. And that is not a bad consolation prize.